Absorb, nature's own organic absorbent, is manufactured from Canadian sphagnum peat moss, originated from selected bogs in Canada. In its natural state, peat moss is the first step in the formation of coal and oil, and is little more than a partial decomposition of mosses in a biodegraded state. Glaciers literally carved out the land where sphagnum moss lay. Collecting by modern machinery, the peat is spread in fields to dry, then transported to processing. There, the peat is mechanically screened and dried, producing peat sorb, a naturally organic, non-abrasive material, ideal for industrial and environmentally hazardous spills, large or small. It's such a versatile product that new and specialized uses are being applied every day. Several rigid testings have validated the efficiency and cost-effectiveness of peat sorb as an absorbent when compared to other absorbents, both on the industrial level and in specialized uses. It's lightweight, economical, and easy to use, requiring neither special technicians nor highly specialized equipment for application. The most important peat sorb is non-toxic as well as non-abrasive and non-leaching. A striking illustration of its absorbent ability is seen in this simple test. Two pans are filled with oil. One pan has peat sorb applied. When the feather duster is placed in the untreated pan, the feathers are naturally saturated with oil. Yet the feather duster placed in the tray treated with peat sorb remains free of most deposits, indicating the complete absorbency of the product. Another test proves the vapor suppression capabilities of peat sorb. Approximately 10 gallons of gasoline are poured into the test area. Using a combustible vapor meter, vapor readings are taken, revealing approximately 100% combustible vapor is present. After the same test is covered with peat sorb PS2 to create a 2 to 1 ratio, the second reading indicates that only 10% combustible vapors are present. When quality emulsifiers are plot at 6% over the top of peat sorb, no readings at all received. The fact that peat sorb alone is capable of reducing 90% of the vapors attests to its high vapor suppression capacity. The fact of this vapor suppression quality is visibly proven. When fires applied to the test area that is treated with peat sorb and emulsifiers, no flame appears until the vapor barrier is broken. Fire is easily extinguished with a 6% solution of emulsifier applied with a simple garden hose and inductor. Another even more rigid test is applied to peat sorb. A field ditch is filled with 10 gallons of oil. After setting up a peat sorb absorbent boom, peat sorb is quickly and easily applied. Immediately peat sorb begins to work. Extraction is just as quick, and because of the unique encapsulating action of the product, the oil is absorbed and removed from the site. Most particularly, peat sorb is non-leaching, allowing all the spill to be removed when the peat sorb is removed. This special non-leaching characteristic of peat sorb is further demonstrated in this visual test. Oil is placed into pans, one treated with polypropylene pads, the other treated with peat sorb pads. After allowing enough time for both products to absorb the oil, the pan is tilted. The result is easily seen. The other product allows oil to seep back into the edge of the tilted pan, while peat sorb, on the other hand, leaves the dry pan. This further demonstrates the wicking action of peat sorb. Because peat sorb is an organic product, the absorbency is performed by a natural capillary action. The most revealing test of peat sorb is the actual oil spill in the field. Here, one located near a shoreline where a boom had been set up, but oil has leached past. At the same site, with just the use of a few men, a boat, and bags of peat sorb applied by hand, the entire area was covered. The wind during this application, instead of hindering the application, actually assisted. In particular, it should be noted that peat sorb was able to reach around, under, and throughout the spill area. Even those areas where the spill had reached land, peat sorb was applied effectively, encapsulating the spill. In such situations, peat sorb, nature's own organic product, illustrates that this product is a friend of the environment. Even more graphic are these scenes of before and after effects of a spill. After the application of peat sorb, this product demonstrates its natural absorbent capacity on land as well as on water. Easy application of peat sorb is quickly put to work. The extraction of peat sorb removes the oil, yet there is still concern about the environment. Subsequent views of the same site over a period of time show a gradual renewal of the environment. Not only does peat sorb rid the soil of environmental dangers, it allows Mother Earth the opportunity to replenish herself, since all the unwanted hydrocarbons are contained in the encapsulating features of peat sorb. When the product is extracted, so are the hydrocarbons. Besides large industrial applications, peat sorb is equally useful in the field for specialty tasks. A typical feature of peat sorb is that it requires no highly skilled or trained specialist for application. In the field, there's no danger to those using the product since it's non-toxic and the simplest of tools are required. One such specialty application in the use of peat sorb is a situation where oil leakage occurs. 
It's simply a matter of spreading the peat sorb on the area, then raking it away. Another specialty use is as a barrier to absorb or contain leaks around machinery. Peat sorb can be used without fear of damage to the machinery since peat sorb is non-abrasive and non-leaching. The list is endless. We're coming up with new ways to use peat sorb every day. And no matter how you look at it, peat sorb has the advantage. Peat sorb is non-toxic, meets landfill acceptance, can be incinerated safely with virtually no ash. Peat sorb requires less product than clay, pads, or other products. It makes sense to use 48 pounds of our product rather than 500 pounds of clay, which contains toxic silica. Peat sorb, non-leaching, non-abrasive. Peat sorb has an unlimited shelf life, compact stacking, lightweight, easy to handle, and has lower transportation costs. Peat sorb, the single most attractive advantage provides you with an aversion to contingent liability from employees to local and federal agencies now and for years to come. Peat sorb, it's nature's natural organic absorbent. perfect for industrial applications. Here a barrel leakage is contained with peat socks. Clay, one of the most commonly used absorbents when compared to peat sorb, is only second rate. Here peat sorb used to clean around the lathe is moved and cleaned another spill. Peat sorb leaves the workplace clean and safe. Peat sorb out absorbs clay 10 to 1. Peat sorb is compatible with your machinery and employees since it's non-toxic and non-abrasive. In this beach impact test, peat sorb delivers the ideal solution. Here we see a peat sorb sock stretched across the test area. Oil being poured on both sides of the boom. Peat sorb being applied around the perimeter of the simulated beach area, then directly into the simulated spill on one side of the boom. Extraction is simple. Peat sorb is raked over the spill area and easily removed. Demonstrate its complete encapsulating feature. Here, extracted peat is literally squeezed, releasing clear water while totally encapsulating all the hydrocarbons. On the other side of the boom, peat sorb pads are applied. Upon extraction of the pads, clear water is being seen. Oil contents remain contained in the peat sorb pads. After peat sorb treatment, both lake and beach are free of oil residue. Even feathers dipped into the once polluted water give clear evidence of a pollution-free environment. To verify the total absorbency characteristics of peat sorb pads, motor oil is deposited in separate pans. Conventional pads are placed into one pan, peat sorb pads in the other. Allowing time for absorption to take place, the remaining oil is administered the second time for each pan, a total of one quart per pan. Results are clearly visible. With conventional pads, bleaching is obvious, revealing a considerable residue of oil in the test pan. Yet in the pan treated with peat sorb pads, the oil is totally absorbed. Another example of peat sorb's instant wicking action, leaving the test pan clean and dry. In this land spill simulation test, oil is sprayed on a grass area. Passing a hand through the test area produces expected results. Oil residue clings to and saturates the hand. Peat sorb is now applied, covering the contaminated area. Peat sorb begins to work instantly with its wicking action on the ground as well as on the grasses, encapsulating the oil. Again, a hand pass through the grass test area, this time emerges clean, unaffected by oil residue. All the hydrocarbons totally encapsulated in the peat sorb. This test demonstrates the instant wicking action of peat sorb. Observe in this application of a peat sorb sock. The sock is placed in the center of the lake test area. Oil poured directly into the water within the sock containment area. 
Immediately apparent is the lack of any leaching beyond the sock placement. As loose peat is applied to the spill area, instant wicking action begins to take place. When the sock is extracted, no oil deposits remain behind. To better illustrate peat sorb's capacity for absorbency, the activated peat sorb is tightly squeezed, eliminating water while encapsulating all the oil deposits. These results indicate application of peat sorb to oil spills immediately eliminates the threat of oil spreading indiscriminately from leaching or from possible boom breakage. A practical application of the peat sorb sock, as well as loose peat, would be to align the socks inside previously installed containment boom placements, particularly at the boom's connection joints, where oil seepage normally takes place, eliminating such a threat. This is the case of a 10-barrel spill. For three days, cleanup of the contaminated area was attempted through conventional means. Removal by pumping and pad application. Each day, large pockets of oil would reappear, requiring five pumpings and still no satisfactory results. At this point, a peat sorb crew was called in. As standard procedure, peat sorb is applied as the initial containment perimeter. It was obvious that the original pumpings had removed some oil, but were unable to affect the complete cleanup of the marsh area. With peat sorb now applied to the perimeter, any danger of further contamination was eliminated. The crew's next step was to apply loose peat sorb within the entire marsh area. Heavy rains and high tides were a constant factor in the procedure. Yet peat sorb still began its immediate wicking action, encapsulating oil deposits on contact, a typical characteristic of peat sorb. Even when the rains and tides raised the water level, peat sorb rose with the water, encapsulating the hydrocarbons clinging to the high grasses. This changing water level enabled peat sorb to reach all the contaminated area, absorbing the oil along the way. After this peat sorb treatment, no oil leaching took place. Total cleanup was quickly accomplished. Production at the well site was able to resume. Our peat sorb crew responded to this 1,000 barrel oil spill. The initial standard approach was to form a containment dike around the spill with peat sorb, thereby preventing any leaching beyond the containment area. Using conventional pumping procedures, 400 barrels of crude oil were extracted. Still remaining was 600 barrels of paraffin containing 15% oil. Because of the 20 degree weather, it took four days for the pumping to extract the bulk of the paraffin. Even after the fifth day, the peat sorb containment dike still prevented further contamination. At this point, enough paraffin was removed, leaving behind a hydrocarbon content, unable to be removed by conventional means. Late that afternoon, peat sorb was introduced to the site to begin the absorption of the marsh. Returning the next morning, the peat sorb crew was surprised. The applied peat sorb had already completely dried up the marsh site. We now elected to apply two or three inches more organic peat sorb so friendly to the environment as a top dressing to the area. Daily monitoring of the spill site continued for the next month and thereafter. Here you can see the site one month later. No leaching has taken place. Heavy equipment leaving behind its noticeable tracks was able to transverse this once marshy area. No evidence of fish, game, or wildlife exhibited any adverse effects from the peat sorb applied to the marsh or to the water. Peat sorb provides you with many advantages. Its remarkable wicking action eliminates many hours of conventional cleanup. With peat sorb, you're able to get into the spill area quickly, move the spill quicker, usually at less cost, and limit the environmental damage on a grander scale. Peat sorb. Its nature is own organic absorbent.